Yo, yo, rest fam, what's going on, and welcome back to the channel, and I was kind of thinking, you know, I was at work today, and I was thinking about a video idea of what I would upload for my 5pm or my 7pm upload, and I actually thought about this idea, and I was like, okay, I'm actually interested in myself to find out, so I'm pretty sure the audience and the rest fam is going to be interested to try to find out as well, and it's basically what would happen, or how many home runs, I should say, can the lowest power in the entire MLB the lowest player, the lowest power on a player in the MLB. How many home runs can he hit? And can he actually win the home run derby? Now I thought about this, my like, okay, this this is gonna be good, but who who are we gonna play against? And I thought about it. So first of all, let's get our player. I'm gonna show you show you this man right here. This man is in the New York Mets. If you go all the way to the bottom, I kind of went through it. Luis Guillaume has 17 power and has no career home runs and i feel like this guy's gonna hit about 27 bombs you know 27 bombs this guy has power all over the board um i'm kidding no he's not but who who are we gonna play against who's gonna be the second and third seed you may ask boy is it gonna be a tough one for us so i decided to add you know why not add bam giancarlo stanton one of the most powerful players in the bigs and i thought why not just play babe ruth and lastly, you know, I couldn't find another player above the eight, the, the 95s. So why don't we just add, you know, a game favorite into this league, into this mix, I should say. Why not add Joey Gallos in? Why? We're going to be facing off against Joey Gallos in the first round. It's going to, it's only going to be, um, four players. So it's going to be, um, first seed versus the fourth seed. Whoever wins those advance to the finals. And on the second and third seed, whoever wins between them two advance to the finals. So this might be um, a very short video or it might take us, you know, a couple rounds to actually win this. So I do feel quite confident that we can win this. Um, to be honest with you, I am kind of scared of the fact that we're facing off against uh, Joey Gallos, I believe. Yes. And we're going to be playing on a whole, you know, a personal preference, Old Miami, the stadium that we won both of our of our World Series. And uh, as a proud Martins fan, I truly do miss this stadium, this stadium. I would I would go to it as a little kid almost all the time. Um, I, my deepest fond memory is basically I I remember it was when Bonifacio, Hanley, all these guys were in the mart and they were just absolutely destroying. And I remember being at this stadium. Like I used to go everywhere in this stadium. So I know the stadium here like the back of my hand basically. So you know why not play it? So the round times we're gonna put it at uh put the round times in at three minutes just just so we don't make it a lot and we're gonna be using um the main man all right player one this one this is gonna be all, all the rest are gonna be cpu and we're just gonna go ahead and control luis guillorme all right folks so here we go luis guillorme giancarlo stanton babe ruth and joey gallows who is gonna come out victorious out of us four here i do believe honestly i do see stanton winning it but as of, you know, just a little bit of cockiness into this. I believe we have a good chance of winning this. Kind of. Let's get to it, alright? So, we hit, you know, you see right here, it says we've hit a home run every 0, 0.0 at bats. Um, that is very nice to know. Stanton's hit one every 10.1 at bat. Babe Ruth, 11.8 at bat. And Joey Gallo's 11.0 at bat. So, it's going to be quite interesting. Um, very interesting to see how this is going to work out. All right, here we go. So, the home run derby is set right over here. These are the four contestants, and oh man, I am kind of kind of scared for this. So this is the rules right here. If you guys don't know how the home run derby works, basically we're gonna have three. It's they they changed it from last from the year past last year. Um, basically it's a uh, timed round. However much you you can hit in that time is how many the other person has to beat. And if you do hit um, home runs over 440 feet, you will get 30 seconds of added bonus time. So, here we go. Joey Gallo's going to be up right here. We're just going to fast forward. So, um, all of his at-bats. I kind of, I actually want to see how much we're actually going to um, need to be. But so far, Joey Gallo's just kind of struggling. As I say that, he hits a moonshot 400 foot. And so far, looking pretty good for us. Looks like, oh, uh, there's two. Oh, it's not two. There's only one. Oh man, he hits another one. Yep, uh, he has, he has uh, and he gets the bonus time, doesn't he? Yeah, he does get the bonus time. So, quite interesting. Joey Gallos has two with a minute and 30 left, but he does have 
the 30 second bonus time which will give him a total of about two more minutes left so oh he misses that one we can actually do this we just need to hit two home okay this is looking like we only have to hit two home runs this is as, as i say that he mashes one all the way back so three home runs not that bad let me be quiet before he hits another one okay he's struggling he's struggling uh that's a foul ball three home runs so far and i do think this oh my goodness 461 this man's hitting dongers bro so he be kind of bumps it up over to five um it's gonna be quite difficult to see and there we go joey gatos does hit five home runs and we basically have to hit six in order to qualify to the next round and here we go folks good luis guillermo looking as confident as always knowing i damn near do not belong here next is the sultan of swat stanton and joey gatos <laughs> he's taking his practice hacks because he kind of wants you know get get the workout in and this guy is not gonna hit anything that was a power swing are you kidding me that was a power swing i guarantee you that was he's not hitting anything this is absolutely ridiculous dude it'll be a miracle if we get one out oh we don't get one out okay oh he gets one out oh my god okay okay wow he does get one out that is actually pretty successful oh this one's out as well we we can do this we can actually win the home derby hold on hold on we can actually do this this guy's hitting yaks. This guy's... Bro, this guy goes to the gym every day. Every leap year, I should say. But bro, he's actually hitting him. Oh, come on. Put some more juice on that, brother. Come on. Dude, you gotta hit it. Right there. Oh, my God. Bro, he actually can win this. I think he could win this. He just needs to be patient. He needs to get... We need three... I would say four more to win. Ah... My timing is so messed up. All right, let's time this. Let's time this perfect. Come on. Beautiful. And, oh, my God. Come on. I timed that one pretty well. But he's just not going to hit it. Oh, uh, if it's in the gap, say say goodbye. If it's anywhere near, near the gaps, it's literally GG. Oh, come on, brother. You hit two. Nah, nah. We can't go out like this. There we go. That's a ground ball, man. Dude, such a difference this thing makes, bro. He can't. Look. Look how, look, just look how slow he hits it. I mean, what else did we expect? We didn't expect him to hit dangers too, but, dude, you gotta at least hit a couple Jacksons out. We well, has, but a couple more, and that's it, folks. I don't, I don't think it'll be, I have a better chance of getting a DM from Kim Kardashian herself than actually getting a 444 home run to give us the bonus time. And he hits the cage. Oh, my God. So, folks, this is how it's gonna go out. I do, nah, that, that's a homer. Okay, two more. Two more to tie. I don't think we have time for that. Two, oh, one more. No. Oh, no. There's a couple of them that could have gone far. Oh, Joey Gallows has advanced to the next round, Sally. We do get eliminated. I kind of wanted to see how many he could hit. If you guys predicted that we would hit three, then you were right. You were absolutely right. And I'm going to actually like your comment and also answer you and tell you that you are a demigod for guessing that right. So... Joey Gallows does advance from the from our group, and um, now it's time to see if the Sultan of Swat or Giancarlo Stanton, which is kind of crazy to think about. Let's see which one is gonna hit the. Oh my God! The first one is 456. Oh, he Beirut's was coming, bro. He's coming for juice. He came back, reincarnated into I don't know another god, and he is now just smashing dingers in his in his past life. So. I do have it kind of fast forward because it would take a while if we were to actually see. Oh my god! It would take actually. Actually, I'm just gonna. Whenever it's a mash, I guess I'll just slow it down. And oh, that's not coming down anytime soon. 461 feet bomb. Oh, that one. That one's going too. That's going fair. I mean foul. That one. That one foul. It hooked foul. That's what we call a home run dinger. I mean whoa. That's what we call a foul ball dinger, I should say. And Rez fam, this is kind of looking pretty good for uh, Babe Ruth, not gonna lie. He has six of them and he does have the extra time. I want to say seven of them. Wow. This man is on a mission to make sure that Stanton doesn't. He hits one in the gap, 439 foot. Alright, this, if Babe, Babe Lear just hit one in the gap of Old Miami. 
That is literally insane. For bro, I kind of weird how no one, no one's hitting it over to the second deck. That just shows you how far the second deck is and how tough it is to get the ball up there. And Babe Ruth does get seven home runs, I believe it is. He does get, yeah. He needs Stanton needs to. Oh, he gets nine. So Stanton needs to get ten of them in order to qualify to the uh, to the finals against Joey Gallo. So Stanton does get one. He's gonna cook down. And bro, do you guys remember Stanton's? Oh uh, wow, 461. You are absolutely kidding me. He's hitting him second deck like it's normal. That's three in a row. Second deck, three in a row. That's four. Oh my god, he could hit it out of the stadium. This man is not normal. He was made in the lab, bro. Literally, he hits one in the gapper. I was gonna say. Dude, this man was made in a lab somewhere. There's no way he's human. He is literally a robot. Bro. What? He's hit like what five of them already? Upper deck? Six of them? Dude, he's won it. He's won it. He, he, he literally just needs one of them and he qualifies. He needs one home run and he qualifies. He does get the bonus time. And he does get it on the last one. And Stanton does advance to the next round. So it's Joey Gallows versus Giancarlo Stanton. And this is going to be pretty, pretty, pretty interesting. I do see Stanton winning this. I don't know if Joey Gallows can hit one to the ga uh, into, into the second deck, I should say. Um, he is just absolutely mashing him. And here we go. Joey Gallows goes up. He hits, well, he hits one out, out on the first one. And um, it's looking pretty good for him, you know. He's another one right there. He has two pretty early on home um, home runs for him. And let's just see if he keeps his rhythm going. See if he keeps his rhythm going. 416. Not bad. All right. So he hits another one. That's four right there. All right. He tries to go up with that one and does not actually go well for him. So he does need to hit 10 home runs or 11. No, 10 home runs. Yes. No. 9 or 10. He has to hit 10 home runs in order to win the whole thing. So he needs four more. And he does not have the extra bonus time. So this is looking pretty bad for Joey Gallo. And oh, can this one be it? No, it's going to be in the gapper. If Joey, I think this one's the bonus time. This is, no, that's not. That's not the bonus time. That is not the bonus. He needs to hit this one out. 460 foot. And he, wow, Joey Gallo does lose this one. And it looks like Stanton does have another round to do, I believe. And here we go. Oh, no, no. This is this is the final. Okay, so Joey Gallo started first. He gets six home runs. And Stanton off the bat. Two home runs in literally the first three. Oh my god, dude! Stanton just three in a row, and he's four. He said like eight of them and nine of them upper deck, but upper deck is around four twelve, which is kind of pretty short. And are you kidding me? Stanton on that home run, he had like four of them in a row to actually win the finals. And ladies and gentlemen, Giancarlo Stanton does win this home run derby. And I hope I hope that this is, you know, pretty good prediction that was going to happen this year. I do see him playing in it this year. I do want him to win it because I know I, I'm, you know, Martin's fan, Stanton. You know, there was a deep connection there. What a, he's one of my favorite players, no matter if he's in the Yankees or in the Athletics. But here we go, folks. Giancarlo Stanton does win the home run derby and does beat out Joey Gallo's to win it and i kind of expected this this man has unreal power unnatural power this dude hit 17 right here in this home run derby and uh yeah there we go get actually hit three of them i'm actually, I'm actually surprised he even hit one of them out honestly i was i i i, I kind of came came into this knowing okay if he hits one of them i know he has something you know has the power to hit it but i knew when they were coming off the bat he had literally no pop in that bat and there it is, folks. Stanton wins it. And that's going to be the episode right there, folks. If you guys want more of these little challenges videos, want more of these like kind of special different videos besides the normal Diamond Dynasty and the Seattle Mariners uh, franchise upload, let me know down, down in the comments down below. Let me know down in the comments down below. I'm always I'm always looking at my comments. I'm always looking at different um, criticism, of course. Let me know if you guys like this video as well. And uh, yeah. Like I said, make sure to comment down below anything you guys want me to do, a next challenge, and I'll make sure to get that done for you guys. And as always, it's been your boy Resort, and as always, it's been your boy Rezzy, and I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Peace! When I pull up.